Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is LPRPG and you're looking at a game called King's Bounty Armored Princess. King's Bounty Armored Princess is a roleplay adventure strategy game that was released back in 2009. It is the sequel to King's Bounty The Legend and some of you may know that I already played and completed that game. King's Bounty Armored Princess begins 10 years after King's Bounty The Legend ends. And in the end of that game you rescue a little girl called Emily. And guess what? In this game we play as that little girl, but as you can see she's all grown up. Let's start our new adventure. There are three classes we can choose from. The warrior, the paladin and a mage. The mage is really focused on spell casting and they even get to cast two spells in a turn later in the game. The warrior is really focused on battle rage. And that's something that you build up during a battle and you can use those rage points to use your dragon pets abilities. You will learn more about the dragon pet later. The paladin is really in between. As it reads right here, you can choose to lean more towards either the warrior or the magician. I'm going to lean more towards the warrior because yes, I'm going to play as a paladin this time. And in the legend I played as a warrior by the way. Right, for the difficulty, you should not underestimate this. Hard in this game really means really really hard. In possible for me this really means impossible. I know it can be done with the mage, I've seen some battles where they just summon plants over and over again as a buffer, as a wall to protect their real troops, but it just takes forever. For a let's play I don't think it's really a good choice. So I'm going with the normal difficulty also just to make sure that I can actually complete the game. I don't want to get stuck somewhere in the middle unable to progress because you can easily run out of resources, just run out of gold or run out of troops to buy. I don't want that to happen so we're going with normal difficulty. For our name, it already is set, we play as Princess Emily. Our emblem, I'm going with the same emblem that I used in King's Bounty The Legend and that's this one, the Iron Fist. Our nickname, I don't really care that much about my nickname so the fair is just fine with me. Just so you can see the differences, the enemy strength 100%, so this is all normal. Heart 130% already, and on impossible it's 170%. And on top of that, your gold income is going down, your rage is going down, and your experience rate is going down. It's just ridiculous. Right, but for us it's normal difficulty. Let's start our adventure. Throughout the past decade, peace has reigned in the world of Endoria. A treaty was signed between the humans, elves and orcs, and a union of equals led by Mark Leonard the Wise brought to peaceful resolution all conflict across the land. The valiant knight, Bill Gilbert, having set Endoria on its happy course, became mentor to the young Princess Emily, training her in the military arts. And as time passed, the princess grew into a fine young woman, and Sir Gilbert was called to leave the peaceful shores of Endoria in search of new worlds. But peace is always fragile. The fearsome archdemon Ball, once banished into the abyss by our famous knight, had meanwhile been undergoing his trials at the gates of hell. His form finally regained, Baal opened a portal into the world of Endoria, and within an instant, countless hordes of demons came pouring through, destroying all that was in their path. The elves and dwarves were the first to fall, having but little defense against such an overwhelming force. The loyal troops of King Mark were likewise quickly exhausted, and the battle-weary survivors withdrew to Kronberg to mount a last desperate stand at the gates of the capital. In a few short but terrible hours, catastrophe had brought Enduria to the very brink of annihilation. <laughs> In a last desperate effort, the king's forces have held the capital from the storm of invading demon troops, but the king has sent a messenger to you urgently summoning you to the castle. Alright. Some of you may recognize this place. This is actually the starting place of King's Bounty the Legend. But this time there's a large demon standing there. It is Baal. 
he's a lot larger than he was in King's Bounty the Legend. I will slay him once again. Father! Oh, so King Mark is a lot older. Ten years, of course. King Mark, father, my daughter, Emily, please sit with me. I want to have a serious talk with you. Why have you called me, father? Is there any I can do to help in the siege of our city? Yes, just outside the walls of Kronberg stands Baal's army, and we have nothing with which to oppose them. Tomorrow our magicians will lose their strength, and the demons will storm the castle. Therefore, I make of you two requests. I hope you will understand me and will not stand against the royal will. Well, that will depend. First, as a father, I must protect you. Tonight a dwarven airship arrives. It will bring you to our people in Murak. To our knowledge, this is the only land that has not suffered from the demon invasion. Of course, there are the orcs of Murak to contend with, but we have recently signed a peace treaty with them. With you will fly a platoon of the royal guards under orders to protect you. Thank you, father, for your concern, but I do hope that Kronberg will stand. Worthy words. I'm proud that my daughter has grown so bold and so optimistic. I hope you maintain these qualities no matter what happens in the days ahead. However, this is not open for discussion. You are the only successor to the throne and must be kept safe at all costs. As king, it is my duty to share the fate of the people to whom I must answer. He's going down with the ship. And second request. Remember the clock of time? Actually, yes, I do. I believe this was the gift from the Reaper, and it was one of the uh, elementals or one of these summons from King's Bounty, the legend. Bill Gilbert, when he left for Tiana. Yes, of course, I have it here with me. I promise to keep it until his return, though I do not understand why he left it with me. Everything has its meaning, Emily. This was not left to you as a simple toy. This magical clock belongs to the Guardian of Time, who is sealed in Gilbert's chest of rage. These clocks change the pace of time around you. When you feel poorly, time is accelerated, that you may quickly recover. And when you are well, time slows down, so you can enjoy every second. Sounds incredible, but how is it that I never noticed this? We mere mortals are oblivious to such things. But let us now speak of another matter. My chief advisor, Archmage Chiverius, has argued that with the help of the hourglass one can make some kind of hole in space and perhaps even stop time itself. He promises to go to Bill Gilbert and secure his assistance in overcoming the demons. I'm none too knowledgeable about magical artifacts and I do not understand how in a single day one could make such a I ask you to hand him the clock of time and I prepare yourself for the voyage to Mjörg. Agreed? Well, I will certainly talk to Archmage Chiverius. As for sending me to Mjörg, we'll talk about that later. Alright, Chiverius. Well, have you spoken with your father? Yes. He asked me to give you the clock of time. Very good. I require the aid of its magic to return Bill Gilbert to us. He is our final hope. I have no doubt that he could help us, but how will the clock of time enable you to do this? Princess, you will see it for your own eyes. Alright, let's follow him. We have a portrait of the knight. Uh, maybe it's too small for you guys, but I can see it's the warrior from King's Bounty the Legend. It's kinda nice because I played as this warrior, so we take it in honor of Max, the, that was the name that I used for the warrior in the legend. Alright, I'm ready. Give me the clock of time, your highness, and I will... I will not give you the clock of time until you explain to me what's going on. Well, princess, I can only tell you what I understand. Let's just get to the point. How can we use the hourglass? So if you break an hourglass, the sense will cascade into our world, bringing with it a cataclysm. And if you do not have enough time to get back... That's the key, you see, the Guardian is eternal, his soul endless or timeless. When the sand is cast into our world, the whole of Darien will also stand outside of time. 
there will be an inverse whirlpool effect, which freezes time in Endoria. What are we waiting for? Let's try it. Let us alter space and time. What are you doing, Princess? I can read the spell, but I cannot use the portal if you... Do not worry, Archmage. I will go for Bill Gilbert. Read the spell until time stops. Doom etched on his face. Javeri shakes his head and plants his staff firmly on the ground. With each second, his movements slow, but yet he stands his ground. A beam of light suddenly flares out from his staff. <laughs> nice. Let's go through it. Do you really want to enter? Yes, I do. We leave the land of Endoria. Another world, very nearly the same as your own. So this is the place the portal has sent you to. It seems that you are in the square of a quiet sleepy town. The square is quite deserted and all is serene. The silence is suddenly shattered by a loud pop. The sound of the portal closing after you. All right. I'm moving around just by pointing and clicking with the left mouse button. I can look around with holding the right mouse button. King Frederick. Welcome, stranger. It was reported to me that you came out of nowhere, right onto the main square of my castle. Who are you and what kind of person is able to enter my castle without passing the guards? Were you sent by Demonion to assassinate me, the true king of Verona, Frederick II? Your Majesty, I'm Princess Emily, and I have just arrived here from the world of Endoria. I urgently need to find this knight by the name of Bill Gilbert. What? You come from another world, Endoria? Hmm. Yes, I think I've heard of the name. Interesting. A knight you say you are looking for. Do you mean that you are a princess by blood? In the name of your father, your highness? My father's name is Mark Leonard, the king of Darien. The gods sent you, the daughter of the gods, from another world. I wonder, has the angel told the truth? This is incredible. We have to confirm this. By the gods, where is that box? Princess, do you know what this is? No, I don't, but its color and shape are most pleasing. How barbaric. The shape and color of the stone is of no matter. This is the Stone of Courage. One of the eight stones of Tiana. Keys to divine power. If you are the one foretold by the prophecy of the angel, then you must awaken the stone. Come lay your hand upon it, child. If you speak the truth, it will come to life and give you its strength. Alright, all I say is pure truth. Touch the stone. As soon as you place your hand on the stone, it lights up with a ghostly glow, before suddenly shattering into a million shining sparks. The sparks flare up, then slowly die down. As they fade, you feel an illuminating power of clarity of thought, shining from within. The incredible stone has accepted you. It has made you its keeper. The prophecy of the angel has come true. I? The stone keeper? I do not understand what just happened. And to where did they and to where did the stone disappear? After you have collected all eight of the stones of Tiana, you will be as the gods, capable of stopping the chaos. And ready to fulfill the words of the scriptures of scriptures. Friends with your gift. I wish to present you with a royal gift. I'm sure he will love you and will become the best of friends. Friends with the gift? What does this mean? You're making me dizzy. Speak with Captain Bogart. Alright. Stone of the Gods. With this stone, the gods of a strange world acknowledge you and imbue you with a portion of their strength. Leadership bonus. Bogart, where are you? You must be Bogart. Yes, you are. Halt! Who goes there? Speak your name. Your Royal Highness, the Princess of Darien and Endoria. 
you can save your fairy tales about how your apprentice for some other fool. Before you stand the chief of the royal guard, now you weren't here for a moment ago, so speak up, who are you? That's my chief concern. My name is Emily. King Frederick sent me to you to receive my gift. Princess Emily, I apologize for my tactlessness. The royal gift, a pet dragon, awaits you. Dragon? It cannot be. By royal decree, you are to receive a dragon, no less. Alright, Captain, I'll be right back. Miss Martha. Your name is Emily, isn't it? Well, my goodness, don't you look every inch a true princess. Alright, we can choose from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dragons, and I already know which one I want. I want this one because of the treasure searcher ability. And we also get plus one intelligence. Good choice, care for him. I will. Pet Dragon Tutorial, I know. And I'm going to name him after Max, the hero that saved her. These crystals are used to scribe your spells in your spellbook, and they are also used to upgrade your spells. Leadership. <laughs> yeah, I still remember this one. Slow scroll, okay. Let's also have a look at our character screen. Princess Amelie the Fair. Leadership. This works exactly as in Heroes of Might and Magic. It's the total amount divided by however much one of these units needs. This one needs 50 leadership, so you know how many units there are in one stack. There's attack, defense and intellect, gold, rage and mana. This is new, awards. These are like achievements. They are actually quite important. This one is for winning fights without losses. This will increase your leadership. This is for killing enemy heroes, killing dragons, finding chests and treasures. And it seems I already found one of them. I guess so. Don't really remember me picking up any treasures, but okay. Undead units destroyed. Plus one defense. Not that important, but still nice. This is for using spells in combat. Uh, healing, peace, blessings and resurrections. This will increase the damage of your priests and inquisitors. Very, very important. I will really try to get this one up. This is blind rage. This is for critical chance. This is just for using rage, so this will go up automatically as well. This one is for using the stone skin spell, avenging angel, arm of the gods. This will be a bit harder, because as a paladin I can only cast one spell every turn, and that spell is more likely to be a healing or a bless or a slow and haste spells, not so much a stone skin or an avenging angel. I will still try to get this one up, because it will give us resistance to all types of damage, so that's really really nice. This one is the hardest one of them all. This is the trapper and you have to place traps on the battlefield and then the enemy unit has to step on it and the damage the unit receives will have to kill off that whole stack and that's the hardest part of it all it's because you use these traps just to stop your enemy not so much to kill it but well, okay I will still try to do this and this is the battle alchemist uh, award this is for incinerating and poisoning your enemy. This will be not that hard, uh, because I will use uh, the s royal snake troops. Royal snakes will poison your enemy. And these archers, they have the uh, burning arrow attack, and that will uh, incinerate your enemy. This is our pet dragon, Max. Right now he has two abilities, but he will have a lot more. Nine in total. The crushing blow. It's just a kick that will do damage and it will knock your enemy back if they are level 1 up to 3. 
This is the treasure searcher ability. I picked this green dragon because I'm going to use on I'm going to work on the finding treasures in the battlefield. This one just as soon as possible. That's it for a character screen. Let's speak with Bobert. So, what do you think of your new dragon? I like it. Are you pleased with him? Yes, I am. Ready for some training? Yes, I think I should learn about that. We can skip this, but I don't want to, because we will actually find some treasure inside. And I also think that we get some experience from this. So, yes, I will do this. I will follow you into this area.